What's up y'all, this is a video for all of my Xbox gamers out there that's trying to start a YouTube channel or start a Twitch stream uh, or mixer, whatever you wanna do, just pretty much record gameplay on their Xbox. Now, there's a lot of people, most people, not wanting to spend a lot of money on one of these. And lucky for you, if you have a computer and an Xbox, then that's all you need to record gameplay and post it to YouTube like I do. I don't have a capture card. Actually, I do, but it's out of date. It doesn't work very well. So I just use OBS on my computer, and that's all it is to it. It's free, and it's pretty simple. So this video is explaining to you exactly how to go about recording your gameplay on your Xbox. First things first, you either need one or the other of these two, so Streamlabs OBS or OBS Studio. And the next second thing, second and only thing that you need is the Xbox app, which you see right here. And I'm pretty sure it comes with it. Um, it comes with your computer whenever you get it, the Xbox app. And I don't know if I mentioned, but OBS Studio and Streamlabs are both free. So um, everything's free, super simple. So you wanna get both of them running So the next thing, so after you have either Streamlabs or OBS Studio and the Xbox app, you, you got it going, um, you wanna open up the Xbox app and then you wanna have your Xbox and your computer connected to the same, uh, like the same router or the same internet, whatever. Um, so that way they'll be able to connect to each other which is how we're gonna go about doing this. You're gonna have to connect your computer to your Xbox via kind of like Bluetooth sort of. So you're gonna, once you pull up the app, this is what it looks like here, and it's pretty much like the Xbox dashboard. Um, it's a little different, so you're gonna go down here to connection. You're gonna click on connection, and it's gonna say connect to your Xbox One, and your Xbox is gonna pop up right here, and if not, then you know add a device. It's just get your Xbox connected to your computer via this app. Now, once you've done this, all you have to do is hit connect, and now it's your, uh, your, uh, your Xbox is now connected to your PC. So now that it's connected, you wanna hit stream, and now that's not gonna make you go live or anything. Literally all this does, it means that you're streaming your Xbox. My Xbox is on right now. It's, you're streaming your Xbox to your PC. Hit continue, and now this right here is my Xbox dashboard that it's showing. And obviously, you know, I can't click on anything here because it's my Xbox. Now, I want to point out that in the top right here is where you can you can change the quality of how it comes through. See, that looks really bad. And there's four different options: low, medium, high, very high. And that's just like you know if your computer can handle it or not. So I do mine on very high. I do, the, however, want to point out that this works the best and it works the easiest if you either have two monitors or you have a TV that you're playing your console on and you have your PC monitor. I tried whenever I first started doing this, I tried to have my OBS and this Xbox app and everything pulled up on the same monitor that I was trying to play Xbox on. So all in all, I had to switch between like my the computer input, my VGA input for my PC on my monitor, and I had to switch the input to like HDMI for Xbox. And the problem that I came across was whenever I switched right here, like this whole thing here, the, the Xbox app, like it, it just said it stopped streaming because it said that it lost connection or whatever, kind of like it just did while we were. It says it lost connection, so I started having trouble with that. So I thought, I found it easiest to get two monitors. So now I have, I'll show you. Okay, so as you can see, I have the two, I have two monitors here and then this one is what's got like the stream going and you know, OBS here. Um, and then this one is my, this is my Xbox monitor. So my Xbox is hooked directly to this monitor. And this one over here is what's doing the actual like gameplay part. So you go to the Xbox app and you hit stream and it says connecting and continue. Bam. So now it, it shows the exact same thing. However, the one on the right here, this is the one that's recording your gameplay. And then this one over here is just what you're playing on. But you have to have your second monitor pulled up on this. You have to have this screen on 
while you're recording and as some of you've seen during my videos if I were to like move the mouse it says up here in the top um, the top little piece of the screen it says streaming from Xbox or whatever so you have to keep it on this screen and you want to try not to move the mouse or like click any buttons on your keyboard because this is what pops up and to show you like go back to OBS here this is what it looks like whenever you go back to OBS I'm just showing you that this is what's recording my actual Xbox see this is my second monitor so then I go to Streamlabs you know you can see me this is what everything's recording on and then click on the Xbox app down here and as you can see where it pops up that it's, that's what it's recording um, this is where it's recording but you can't like you know, if you go away straight away from this and it's going to start recording this it's not Okay, so that's going to do it for this uh, little tutorial thing here. I just had some people questioning how I do it exactly, so I wanted to show a little video of how I do it. I know some other people do it like this. Probably, I would assume not a lot of people do it this way. It's kind of tedious, and you have to have two screens. It's a lot easier, and it just makes more sense if you have two screens, whether it be a TV and a monitor or uh, dual monitors, something of the sort. It works a lot easier because you have to have one monitor pulled up on the Xbox app like where Streamlabs and the Xbox app is you have to have that pulled up because if you try switching the input if you try switching it to like HDMI so you can play your Xbox you're like okay you got it I'm recording um, everything's good let me switch inputs and it'll just keep recording while I switch inputs and play on my Xbox and then whenever you switch back to your computer you're gonna see that it stopped recording and that's what that's the problem I kept occurring um, that's the problem that kept occurring with me, so I resorted to getting two monitors. I have two of them, as you saw. And this monitor here is for me playing Xbox on, and then this monitor here is for it to just sit there and record because I have to have an input. Like, I have to have it on the VGA input, and it has to be sitting on the Xbox app for it to record. So it's a little tedious. It's not really ideal, but, you know, it's not going to cost you hundreds of dollars, so... I like it and it works so I hope y'all enjoy and I hope you got some kind of benefit out of this I know this video was all over the place and I apologize for that but I hope you got some kind of information out of it and hopefully you know you'll be able to start streaming and recording on Xbox I do appreciate you tuning into the video and if it did help you in any way please don't forget to leave a like comment down below you know let me know if you still have any questions or if it helped you out and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so with that I'm gonna leave you with you know downloading this stuff and trying to get it done yourself uh, thanks again for tuning into the video and as always I'll catch y'all in the next one